Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Minte Papers. So today I wanted to create a couple of Easter cards and these are the paper pads I'll be using. The Flora Book 4 is perfect for your Easter project so I'll show you some elements from this. And then I'm also using Beauty in Bloom with a beautiful um, background. So this is going to be for my card layers which I'm going to show you in a sec. So you can see beautiful colours and the flowers actually match some of the larger flowers in Flora Book 4 which is really really nice as well so for the floral book four you're gonna see um these beautiful cutaway elements so i'm using this little bunny rabbit and um one of these little ducklings or chicks should i say you can use whatever elements you like and then i've also got some flowers that i've cut as well from this book so really really beautiful um duo they go together really well um to the side here i've got some dies that i'll be using so these are some egg shaped dies and these are um the largest is going to create my card base which i'm going to show you right now before i get into making the actual card so here i've got a five by seven card base and just quickly to explain what i've done i've placed my largest egg to the edge here so this is going to leave me a spine and then the bottom's going to be flat because i do want this egg to stand as a traditional card so once this is cut you take it away from the um, card and then you're left with this shape here so if you wanted you could freehand draw a shape and cut it around but then this way the card will actually stand and i've got my layers ready to go so let's get these cards done and they are going to come out amazing just before i actually go into that i'll just show you here is my little selection of items that i've cut and put together so um you can see my little chick here my little bunny rabbit the flowers i've got some sentiments here i've got some full foliage and i'm ready to go so let's get creating so here i have my first card base it's the pink one so what i'm going to do is stick my layers on um on top of my card base the first layer is going on a flat on some wet glue and the other two layers are going to be going on with some double-sided foam pads and the foam pads that i'm using are two millimeters thick so they are quite thick and they give a really really nice dimension And you can see with having the flat bottom to the egg, the card stands nice and proud. And now I'm gonna just get my selection of embellishments um, out of that little container and put it to the side ready to assemble my card. It's such a nice process, I love doing this bit. You can see I've got my flowers, my little chick. I've also got um, some sentiments there, one backed on some vellum and one without. And these are just um, happy Easter word dies that I'm sure a lot of people have or you can just print something off and use it as your sentiment on your cards as well. So the fun part, assembling all my die cut flowers from that beautiful flora book. And I'm using a combination of hot glue, double sided foam, just to give me some varied um, heights to my flowers. And I'm just going to be stacking them to the front of the card and leaving a space on the top for the little chick so i'll be using some full foliage as well you can see there to the top right and i'm going to be using them to just to create some extra texture on my card This kind of card actually comes along really really quick and easy once you've got all your bits and pieces ready they're just so adorable as well and i like to create these cards that are really fuss free you'll see i'm not using like gesso on this i think the flowers are just you know just speaking for themselves i don't need extra elements it just looks nice vibrant very um eastery and really really adorable to look at
So I'll be moulding my little chick there with my hand just to give it some shape and then adding some double sided foam. This time I'm doubling up on my foam pads just to give the little chick extra dimension and make it pop with a bit of a shadow behind it. That looks really adorable. And then um, I'm just thinking of where to put this last flower. These are just so adorable and once you've cut them you want to use them all. Um, they're really really addictive when you've got all your flowers ready you just want to use all of them. Um, so my sentiment is going on next. I am using the one with the vellum and I'm just going to put it to the top of the um, pink egg and I'm just using some um, adhesive this dries clear so it's not going to show through the vellum and then my final step to this card is going to be adding that really really dainty little bow and it's this yellow um, almost like a raffia type material yellow and white and I think it goes really well with this particular card and it came out so so adorable I absolutely love how simple and easy it is to put together so definitely give these a go if you've got those papers so on to my second card I'm going to let you enjoy this I'm going to be using um, exactly the same process as I did with my first card except I'm using some different um, coloured flowers and some different faux foliage as well so enjoy and um, check out the pictures at the end
so that finishes both my cards for today i really hope you enjoyed this video and um, check out all the links below to where you can find um minte papers and inspiration from all the other design team members until next time take care of yourselves and i will see you soon bye